What is it now? Is there any way to address your queen? Uh, so sorry, right. How may I serve you, your majesty? Conqueror of the Seven Realms, Supreme Sorceress of the Order of Magic, and ruler over all people, including those who call you the Conjurer of Terror, and the Mistress of Malevolence and Mayhem, the Dwarves who call you Magor the Mighty Mage, and the Witches who call you Gothmora the Great, the Fairies who call you the Harbinger of Harm, and the Giants of the Sky Kingdom, who likely call you by many names that nobody knows because no one's ever met the Giants? That's better. You know what they say. Flattery will get you everywhere. That's not what they... I mean, that is to say... How may I serve you, my queen? Tell me, Mir. Am I fair? You mean fair as in just discerning right from wrong? No, you fool! I mean, am I fair? You know, like, fair to look upon. Tell me, Mir, am I beautiful? Oh, why yes, you are my queen. You are indeed fair to look upon. But as it is said, beauty is only... Only what? You know what? I'd rather not finish that sentence. Finish it! Well, as it is said, or so it is said, by probably some big old bunch of nobodies, beauty is only skin deep. I see. Though you are a fool, Mirror, you are a wise fool. I appreciate your honesty. Honesty is a greater act of kindness than empty flattery. Yes. So tell me, Mirror, who is the fairest of them all? Honestly? Yes, honestly. Tell me true, Mirror, or I may smash you to bits. Very well. It's Snow White. Snow White, is that so? Where is she, Mirror? I mean to have a little chat with her. Snow White is nowhere to be found, my queen. She disappeared early this morning. Disappeared? Yes, I overheard her talking to her friend the Huntsman. She said she could no longer remain here in the castle with you, and so she set off into the woods. Alone? Yes, my queen. Well, Mirror, fetch the Huntsman and have him kill her at once. I'm afraid that won't work, my queen. You see, she and the huntsman are very dear friends. He would surely betray you. Yes, I see. Well, you'll just have to show me where she is. I'll kill her myself. I cannot do that, my queen. As you know, my power has its limits. Well, I'll just have to fix that. One moment. Where is it now? Aha! Here it is. Once I place this new enchantment upon you, Mirror, you will be able to see into all the mirrors in the kingdom. That should do the trick. Uh, yeah, about that enchantment. I really wouldn't if I were you. That enchantment gives all mirrors the power to... I'm enchanting. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Gather reflections, one and all. Reflect what is on mind and heart, and let all reflections play their part. Woo! Oh, hey, I feel like a million bucks. Now, let's get to work, Mirror. Somehow, someway, I must find Snow White. Three thousand five hundred eighty-two. 3,583, Seem to do anything about these darn coffee stains. Well, I can't give up coffee, so I don't know what I'll ever do about this. What? Should I give up coffee? Maybe I should. These pearly wines just aren't what they used to be. Who? Who are you? Mother, you know who I am. Stop playing your games. I'm warning you. What kind of magic is this? 
Oh, Wooden, who are you? I asked you first. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, wait, that was you before? Before what? Before, before. You know, asking who it was? Yes, it was me. Oh. So? So what? Who are you? Who are you and why are you in my mirror? Why are you in my mirror? Wait, I I'm in your mirror? Yes, how'd you get here? I don't know. How'd you get in my mirror? I don't know. This is so weird. You're telling me. Are you spying on me? There are laws against spying on a prince, you know. I'm not spying on you. Are, are you spying on me? No, I was just polishing my teeth. Wait, wait, did you see that? Yes. You did? I did. I mean, no. It, it was funny. Funny? I meant it was charming. Oh, that was charming? Watching me polish my teeth? This is charming, is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you can't imagine how charming it is for someone like, well, someone like me. Someone like you? Yes. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, I've never quite met anyone like you. I've never met anyone at all besides my mother. Never seen a reflection in this mirror apart from my own or my mother's. Wait, what? Yes, Mother says it's for the best. Oh, she'd kill me if she knew I was talking to you right now. Wait, are are you real or just a dream? I'm real. At least, I'm pretty sure I'm real. And you're a prince? In the flesh. And you're out there in the real world? Yeah. What is this game you're oh, playing? it's not a game. I'm sorry, I've just never seen the real world before. What? It's just that I'm... Rapunzel, Rapunzel! Oh no, it's Mother. I have to go. No, wait, don't! I'm sorry. Hmm, I wonder what that was all about. Oh, what's the use? I can't seem to read a thing anymore. Stupid old Gaston just won't leave me alone. He's always chasing me, asking me to marry him. And then there's Father. He should have been home by now. I'm so worried about him. Oh, great. Now Gaston's suddenly appearing in my mirror. He just won't leave me alone. Oh, hey there, beauty. Is that you? No. Hey, it is you. I was just thinking how I'd like to see you. I'm cursed. Want to see me flex? No. I said no! Come on, beauty. You know you can't resist these muscles. <sighs> Marry me and you have these guns to protect you. I don't need protection. I need companionship. Then I am your man. Don't you know I'm the most popular guy in town? I have lots of companions. That's not... Ugh! Why can't I ever escape you, Gastum? I wish I could meet someone who is as pure of heart and who wasn't as vain as you are. It's no use. Look at me. I'm hideous. Lost forever. No one will ever love me. I took them in an angle and I locked them up in selfish pride. And what for? He's poisonous to me now. But why? What do I have to gain from this? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing but a sense of power and control. But I control nothing. Nothing at all. I'm locked in this hideous course. Should I let him go? He's no threat to me. I only sought shelter for the night after getting lost in the storm. I only wanted to provide for his family and bring Stardo a simple gift. A rose. I could give him everything he seeks and send him on his way and yet something in me and instinct told me I should imprison him. A rose? That's what I said, wasn't it? You couldn't have given him a rose and sent him home? No, that, that's what my instincts told me to do. Your instincts seem to be pretty foul, if I may say. And who are you to say? I don't know for sure, but I'm worried. You're worried? Yes, I mean... 
I'm not sure why or how I'm seeing you in my mirror, or if this even is real at all or just a dream, but I'm certain you just described my father. He left home days ago to go to the shoreline for goods, not long after the storms rolled in. He should have been home by now, but he isn't, and I've just been so worried about him all this time. Is that so? Yes, it is so, and he promised to bring me home a beautiful rose. A rose, you say? Yes, nothing but a rose. And, well, if it's true you've imprisoned him, that would explain why he hasn't come home, you foul, hideous beast. You don't know what you say. So it is my father. Come and find out. La, 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 la. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Ow, ow. Ew. Gross. Hey there, Kingy Poo. Kingy Pie. Kingy Face. No, Kingy Poo. Yes, that's the one. Hey there, Kingy Poo. My daughters have caught the prince's eye. Does anyone call your eye tonight? Tonight I'm going to the royal ball, and the prince is gonna dance with me all night long, and we're gonna get married and live together forever, and have little princes and princesses, but mostly princesses together, me, you, you, and me, and no one else. Almost there. Gotta be picture perfect for the prince. All clean. Perfect. Come here, Kingy Poo. Oh no. Cinderella! No, no one else! Just me and you, and we're gonna get married! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Cinderella! Dance! We're gonna dance! Dance, dance, dance! We're gonna. Oh, where is that girl? Cinderella! What are you doing here, sister? What are you doing here? Where's Cinderella? I don't know. She's mother. probably out in the barn talking to those rats again. Or the birds. We've got to get to the ball. It's almost time to. Oh no, it's time to go. Come on, girls, let's go get that prince. Coming on mother. my way! Ah, well, I've got you in my sights, Kingy Poo. Darling, this won't do it all. Oh, this is bad. Okay, Speedy, hold your horses. <clears throat> Real bad. But not bad enough. Perfect. This bores me. Bunch of dwarves getting ready for work. I'll never find <sighs> Snow White this <sighs> way. <sighs> Keep at it. I'm sure you'll find her eventually. <sighs> rush, rush, rush. Gotta look best for new kids. Don't want to disappoint her. Oh, no. No time. No time. Come on, Speedy. Gotta go, go, go. Are you done in there, Speedy? It's the second more sluggy. Okay, all yours. Hmm. 
Hmm, maybe. Hey, Glamby, it was my turn next. I'll be in and out before I even get here, Sluggy. You know how Sluggy can be. Hey! Well, it's true. No, this won't do. Got a dress to impress our new guest. All yours, Sluggy. Okay, time to get ready. The new girl has tidied up the cottage so well, so I may as well get my beard brushed. Come on, Sluggy, I've got to do my morning exercises. All yours, Bouncy. Are you hearing this, Mirror? Hearing what? These dwarves seem to be hosting a guest in their cottage. A girl. Hmm. I wonder. Well, wake me when you found her. I'm going back to sleep. Don't worry, Bouncy. I'll be quick. Oh, honey, no. All yours, Bouncy. Let's go. Time to work it. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Switch sides. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Let's go. Yo, come on, Bouncy. We don't have all day. I know, I know, Blingy. I just got to get my morning routine in. Step it up now. We don't have time for this. We gotta get to the mines and work, 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 so we can come back and hang out with Snow White. All right, all right, Blingy, it's all yours. Nice looking, suave. Who are you? Me, I'm Blingy. I like shining and cannot lie. No, I mean, who are you? Where do you live? I live in a cottage in the forest is this a dream and are you living with someone oh yeah i live here with my dwarf palace you like our crib no not them i mean you're hosting a guest in your cut or your crib oh yeah her she's legit and what exactly is her name snow white why thank you bungie nah it's blingy yo Whatever. Mirror! Yeesh, this is going to be tripping today. Mirror! I'm up. I'm up. What's the big deal? Seriously, Mirror? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Right. How may I serve you, my queen, conqueror of the seven realms, supreme sorceress of the order of magic, and ruler over all people, including those who call you the conjurer of terror and the mistress of malevolence and mayhem, the dwarves who call you Mag the mighty mage, and the witches who call you Gothmora the Great, the fairies who call you the harbinger of harm, and the giants of the Sky Kingdom who likely call you by many names that nobody knows because no one's ever met the giants. No, you fool! Weren't you listening? Snow White is dwelling with the seven dwarves. Oh, that's a wonderful my queen. Conqueror of the seven... Shut up, Mare! We must act! At once! What's the plan? I have a little something in mind. As you would your cleverness. In the meantime, I need you to find the dwarves' cottage. We must find Snow White at once. Yes, my queen. Oh, why must it always be so hard? Do the laundry, Cinderella. Wash the window, Cinderella. Where's the breakfast, Cinderella? Why must it always be me, me, me? Is this all I meant to be? Just an errand girl? <sighs> Look at me. I shouldn't be so woeful. At least I have the mice and the birds to talk to. I have a home. Do I have a home? <sighs> oh, surely there is more to life than this drudgery. I wish I could just be off with my family at the ball, all dressed up and dancing, dancing, dancing. And you will be dancing. What? Wipe those ugly tears off your face, girl. They are much more unbecoming than any of the dirt was. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, dearie. Oh? Yes, and seriously, wipe those tears away. There are no need for tears while I'm around. Look, I sent you a clean handkerchief. But how is this happening? Why are you here? You made a wish, my dear, and I'm here to see that it comes true. 
after my bedroom mirror? Well, yes. Seems the evil magic queen, you know, the harbinger of harm, has placed a great spell on all mirrors in the seven realms. Now they all reflect what you wish most to see, whatever is on your heart and mind at any time. And for you, that is me. But I don't even know you. Doesn't matter, dearie. You made a wish, and it's time to send you off to the royal ball before it's too late. But look at me. I can't go to the royal ball. I'm looking at you, dear, and I see a lovely young woman who any prince would be honored to dance with. But I have nothing to wear. Nothing a little magic can't fix. Oh, fairy godmother. They're beautiful. And take a look on your dressing table. Oh my, it's perfect. You'll need a wipe to get to the palace. Hmm, I know just the thing. Is that butterscotch? Your little mouse friend. Yes, seems he stumbled upon that old mirror in your barn. We'll make a perfect footman for your carriage. Cheese, cheese, cheese! Where's that cheese? Gotta find the cheese! Oh my, butterscotch, you make an absolutely delightful human. Cinderella? Is that you? Yes, it is me, old friend. And I'm human? You are, and now you'll see that Cinderella gets to the royal ball immediately. Butterscotch, reporting for duty. I won't let you down, Cinderella. See that you don't. Any chance there's a little cheese in it for me? Very well. A carriage with six white horses awaits outside. Butterscotch went into the coach. Now hurry and get ready, Cinderella, for the time ticks and the magic only lasts till midnight tonight. Midnight? Yes, and you mustn't stay a moment longer. Understood? Yes, Fairy Godmother. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Enough of that. It's time to go. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that was close. What am I gonna do? Good, I think he's given up. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I just wish I could be home with Mother right now. Jack, is that you, son? Mom, Mom, it's you? Well, of course it's me. I've been worried sick. Where have you been off to now? Um, well, about that. You haven't climbed that beanstalk, have you? Um... I knew you wouldn't listen. No, Mommy, don't understand. Look, it's a golden egg. I don't care what you found up there. You come down here at once. No, Mom, you don't understand. There's a goose that lays them. We're witch, Mom, we're witch. All I have to do is... All you have to do is get your tuchus home now. Shh, Mom, you have to be quiet. I won't be quiet. You'll listen to your mother for once. No, Mom, you don't understand. There are giants up here. All the more reason for you to come home immediately. Okay, I just have to do one more thing. Jack! Ugh, that boy. Just once I wish he would listen. I think the witch is finally gone. Oh, what should I do? Oh, if only Father was here, he knew what to do. Gretel, is that you? Father? Hansel, it's Father. Gretel, I've been looking for you everywhere. Where have you and your brother gone off to? Oh, Father, it's terrible. We got lost from you, and we left breadcrumbs, and the birds ate them, and we found this cottage made of gingerbread and candy and all sorts of delicious treats. And a witch lives here, and she puts Hansel in a cage and is making me do all the chores and feed Hansel all day long, and I'm afraid she's going to... She's going to what? I'm afraid she's going to eat Hansel. Okay, get you and your brother out of there and run. Run away as fast as you can. But he's locked in a cage. I don't know where the keys are. Okay. You have to trip the lock. I don't know how to do that. I'll tell you. Is the witch around? No, not right now. Okay, here's what to do. Find a bone. Okay. Shave off the sides of one end and fit it into the lock until it trips. As soon as you feed your brother, you both must run. Run away as fast as you can. Okay. I'm coming for you. Please hurry. I will. Now be careful and be safe. So long, mother's here for you. At least for now. If only I could think of that rascal's name. I've only got one try left. What could it be? 
Nobody knows my name, nobody knows my name. I spin straw into gold, I make promises of bold, but nobody knows my name. Rumpelstiltskin is my name, Rumpelstiltskin is my name, but nobody will ever know that Rumpelstiltskin is my name. Aha, I've got you. What? What? I know your name. No, you don't. I do. It's Rumpelstiltskin. No! Well, what do you think, Mirror? You look lovely, my queen. Seriously, Mirror. I mean, my queen. Conqueror of the Seven Realms, supreme sorceress of the Order of Magic, and ruler over all people. No, no, no! Not that again. Then, what is it? I don't want to look lovely. I want to look hideous. Yes, radio, very hideous, my queen. Hmm, something's missing. What about a wart? Oh, yes, yes, you're right. Hmm, this will do. Perfect. You look like a prune gone bad! And that's precisely what I was going for. And now, for the final piece of my plan. The poisoned apple. One bite of this, and Snow White will be no more. Prince? Prince? Are you there? Prince? Oh, I'm so stupid. He never told me his name and I never thought to ask for it. Prince? Are you out there? Er, are you in here? Oh, what am I to do? I'm right there, mother! Prince? No, no, it's me! Are you there? Just a second, mom. I've got to get the schmutz out of my teeth. Prince! Oh! Well, hello. There isn't any time for that. You must come and get me out of here at once. Out of where? Right. So, long story short, my mother, well, at least I thought she was my mother until you and I talked last time, and she came in, and, well, she asked what was going on, and I came clean, and she went off the handle and told me everything. So many things that I never knew, which is that she's not really my mother, but she's a witch. And she stole me from my mother and father when I was an infant because my father stole some vegetables, which seems really over the top, you know? Anyways, she's kept me here locked in this tower for my whole entire life, and I've never met another person until you came along. And, well, if you're really, really real, then I need you to come and find me and rescue me. <sighs> vegetables. I know, right? Vegetables. Getting off point here. I need you to come and help. Oh, right, that part. Yes, I will come and rescue you. Awesome. Great. Hurry, please. Where's it going again? Oh, right. Well, it's a tall tower with no doors. Okay, any other distinguishing features I can point out? Um, it's deep in the forest. Nothing but trees outside my window. Which forest? I don't know. The great one? She never told me. Well, that narrows it down a bit. There's the Great Northern Forest and the Great Eastern Forest. So it can't be that hard. Oh, and of course the Great Forest of Hamlin and the Great Forest of Earl Boykins the Great. So you're just saying it could be any forest? No, 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 just the Great Ones. Are there any other clues you can give me? Um, well, there are some birds and a couple of rose bushes on the forest floor. What sort of birds? Nothing special, really. Just some kipperwhites, jollywhites, specktails, and an occasional morningale. Did you say specktails? Yes, we have lots of those here. Then I know precisely where to find you. You do? Yes. Specktails are native to the great hunting forest of Hamlin and are non-migratory. Hunters travel far and wide to seek them out. Not to kill them, I hope. No, no. Hunters. You know, rare bird hunters like me. We travel far and wide to seek rare and exotic birds just to see them firsthand. You? 
You love birds? I do, and this I knew precisely where to find you. I love birds, too. Oh, then once I find you and escape you from that tower, I can show you lots of other birds, ones you've never seen before. Oh, I'd love that. Rapunzel, Rapunzel! Oh, no, she's coming. Okay, real quick, my name's... Rapunzel. I heard her say it the last time. And your name? Prince Edward Dashing III. Okay, um, come quickly, please. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, one more thing. Yes? You're gonna have to climb my hair. Climb your... Hmm, okay. Bye, Rapunzel. I should have released her. She was right here in my grasp, but I could have kept her here, too. But I released her. I'm such a fool! That's right, you are a fool. It was foolish to let her go. Is that what you think of me? You think of me as a fool? No, no, sir, you're no fool. You're wise. The wisest of those who are wise, sir. Then why do I feel like such a fool? Because it was foolish to let her go. No, it was wise to let her go. It was the most foolish thing he could have done. Unless it was the most wisest thing he could have done. Oh, what do you know, you dumb clock? Dumb clock? Dumb clock, my order? You ought to what? I ought to clock you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got two hands ready to go. Then be my guest. Boys, that is quite enough now. You have done what is necessary for the spell to be broken. Now you have to hold the real life, her love for you. That is what I'm afraid of. No one could ever love someone like, like me. Show me the beast. Beast, is that you? It's me. I'm so glad to see you. And are you. But there's no time. You must prepare at once. Prepare for what? Gastum is coming with the villagers to attack you. They mean to find you and kill you. Let them come for me. No, you must get ready at once. I deserve to die here. Alone. No, you don't. Father and I are coming to help. Are you? Yes. I can't just leave you here to die. Beast? Beast? Can you hear me? Beast? That's them. They're at your door. Please fight. Fight them off. I can't lose you. I... I love you. Don't worry, Beauty. I will fight him off. Please return to me. Beast, is that you? Can it be? Come, Father. We must go at once. Oh, Mirror, I'm tired of being a prince. All my mother and father want for me to find a princess. I've been master of this princess, and that princess, and that princess, and this princess. Is it all meant to be? There's not just some princess out there, or is there some higher purpose in this age-old tradition? What's this? Who's that girl? Come in. No! What has happened? Tell me, Mirror, what has happened? Hello, Prince Charming! What? Who are you? I'm your mirror. My what? I'm your mirror. Well, I'm everyone's mirror, really. But apart from one other, you, Prince Charming, are the only one who's ever spoken to me like I truly matter. Like a friend. Mirror, you're real? I am. I knew there was someone in there. There is always someone in the mirror. But look, we don't have time for that. My master, the evil queen, conqueror of the seven realms, supreme sorceress of the order of magic, and ruler over all people, including those who call her the conjurer of terror and, and the mistress, mistress of, of malevolence, malevolence and mayhem. You know of whom I speak. You see, she placed a spell upon all the mirrors in the kingdom, and now she plans to find and kill Snow White. She was the one you just witnessed giving a poison apple to Snow White. That was the evil queen? The conjurer of terror? The very same. And like your swoon was a princess? Yes. Oh. So, I have come to tell you, Prince Charming, that you must go and find Snow White. Okay. But why have you only come now? I wasn't able to. You see, long ago the queen accused me of stealing. I pleaded my innocence. You see, I was framed. But the queen refused to believe me. And she cursed me to, be, me to become her servant, forever trapped in these reflections, always at her beck and call. But now... 
You can set me free by finding Snow White. Okay, how do I find her? Uh, just take me with you. I'll show you the way. Okay, but you <clears throat> you've always been just <clears throat> glued to the wall. Come on, man! Find your higher power! Okay. <sighs> oh, there we go. And on we go. We've got not a moment to lose. We're off to find Snow White. It's so dainty. I've tried on every girl in the kingdom with no luck. Every foot is too large to fit this shoe. No human could fit this shoe. Wait, what if she isn't human? What if it was some witch's curse that she placed on a mouse or a bird or a newt? That could explain it. No, that doesn't explain it. Or could it? No, it's impossible. And if it were possible, who would do such a thing, really? Transform into a mouse, into a person just for some fancy ball? Still, I just wish I could find the girl who fit this shoe, even if she's not human. Is that you, Prince? Yes, I am Prince Impeccable, and who are you to ask? Oh, well, I'm nobody, really. Hmm, well, while you're here, I have a quick question to ask. Do you think if I ask my mother and father or the, and the royal stewards, they think I've gone mad? You can ask me anything. Hmm, okay, do you think it's possible for an animal to be transformed into a person? I do. And how would you know? Because I've seen it with my own eyes. My fairy godmother transformed a mouse friend of mine into a footman to assist me to go to... To where? To the royal ball. Well, now we're getting somewhere. I thought I might be crazy. You're not crazy. I was there. And we danced all night long. We did... Oh. Is this better? Can it be? Is it really you? Fairy godmother, fairy godmother, little help here? Here. Does this help at all? Yes, yes, of course it is you. I was just not expecting all the dirt on your face. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're lovely, even covered in dirt. I've been, it's just I've been searching the kingdom far and wide, hoping to find the girl who fit this shoe. You mean this shoe? Yes, well, the left one, of course, but now i found the, the right, right one. one. I've never been one to look upon myself. Why should I look upon myself when there are so many other people to look upon and fawn over? Then that is why you're the fairest of them all, Snow White. You've never looked into the mirror much at all in your life. You look for the beauty in others rather than looking for it in yourself. Oh, mirror. No, it's true. I've heard it said that beauty is only skin deep. Inner beauty is much more lovely than any mirror's reflection. Oh, Mir, you are far more reflective than you realize. I only wish we could have set you free from that awful curse. Oh, no, you have. You already did when the queen cast her spell. She cast it because of you. And now that you are marrying the prince and will be queen, I am free from her control. And I can be connected to the whole kingdom through everyone's mirrors. And everyone in the kingdom can be connected through me and these reflections. A true happily ever after. Here comes Rapunzel now. Oh. Hey, Snow. Congrats on the wedding day. Thank you. And belated congrats to you on yours. I'm starting to think that cutting my own hair was a bad idea. But I was confined in that tower for so long, I had no other option. Got any tips for a girl with short hair? It looks lovely, Rapunzel. Just go with it. Good morning, Snow. Are you ready for your big day? As ready as I'll ever be. What shoes are you wearing? Something blue. Excellent choice. I'm still getting used to wearing these. But I don't know why I should wear them around the castle all day when these are so much more comfortable. You should wear whatever suits you. Oh, what is it, Snow? You mustn't weep. It's your wedding day. Oh, no. It's just... I just wish you could be here with me right now. We do, too. We'll be together very soon. I know, and I'm so glad we can still be together in this way. It won't be long before everything's back to normal. Well, it's time. You look lovely, Snow. Congratulations. Wait, before you go, is it really like they say? 
being married to a prince? Is it really happily ever after? You'll figure it out. It's a matter of perspective, really. Just take it one day at a time. Always put yourself in the other's shoes and everything will be just fine. Well, thanks, girls. I'm off. And well, life wasn't exactly a fairy tale every day, but nevertheless, they all lived happily ever after.